So how many of you out there have checked out the new Batman series over on Amazon Prime, Batman the Cape Crusader? I checked it out a couple weekends ago, uh, powered through all 10 episodes. Um, a lot of things, man, a lot of things here. Um, this, this was intersexual, intersexual diversity Batman is what this was. You had um, the Asian Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn was race swapped. Uh, you had the female penguin. Penguin was gender swapped. Uh, you had the race swapped Commissioner Gordon and Barbara Gordon. Um, Alfred. Since when was Alfred short and fat? I don't remember Alfred being short and fat. At all. Not to mention the fact Batman kept calling him Pennyworth up until the final episode where he finally called him Alfred. That was annoying. But here you have, from the showrunner himself, the man behind Batman the Cape Crusader, the man, one of the two men behind Batman the Animated Series, the piece de resistance of animated shows, Bruce Timm, from Bounding Into Comics. Batman, Cape Crusader showrunner Bruce Timm says Penguin was gender swapped because one of the problems with Batman, as he is, is there's a lack of good villains. Lack of good villains. Um, before I jump into this real quick, folks, I want to thank everybody for stopping by and checking out this video. Whether you're new here or a returning viewer, I appreciate it. Before you leave, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. That helps below that helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Um, leave a like, subscribe if you like what I'm doing. And with that, let's dive in here. So Batman has a lack of good villains. Um, last I checked, Bat Batman's rogues gallery was probably one of the best in all of comics. I'm a huge Batman fan. Was a huge Batman fan growing up. Love Batman 66. Still watch an occasional episode when they're on TV. Um, you know, Michael Keaton. Batman 89. Batman Returns. Seen all the Batman movies. But to say there's a lack of good villains? Come on, man. You've got the Joker, who they alluded to at the end of Batman Cape Crusader to be a potential villain in season two. You've got Penguin, and no, not the female Penguin, the regular Penguin, the real Penguin. You've got uh, the Riddler, who really wasn't touched on. You've got Catwoman, which the Catwoman episode in this, in this series, I have to say that was an excellent episode. Comic accurate, OG Catwoman, loved it. Um, Poison Ivy, the aforementioned Harley Quinn, even though Harley Quinn wasn't created until Batman the Animated Series, she's still part of the rogues gallery. Um, I said Poison Ivy, said Catwoman. Okay, so into this gender swap penguin. So when he was asked, that being Bruce Tim, about why the choice to turn the penguin into a woman, Tim re recalled, James and I were talking about the overview of the show, and we said, one of the problems of Batman, as he is, is there's a lack of good villains. You've got Catwoman, you've got Poison Ivy, you've got Harley Quinn. But it would be really good to have more female villains. And off the top of my head, I swear, I said, we never really could figure out exactly what to do with the Penguin. What the gimmick for the Penguin would be. What do you mean what the gimmick for the Penguin would be? The, the Penguin is the penguin. He's short, he's fat, he's got an umbrella, he was disfigured from birth. I mean, come on. You had the penguin in Batman the Animated Series. What if we gender flip the penguin? Yeah, that was an awesome idea. Interjecting with his own recollection, the aforementioned Tucker further noted, when he said maybe we can gender flip penguin, I just got this flood of ideas thinking of Marlene Dietrich in her tuxedo and Cabaret the Musical and the art form of Cabaret. And I just started drawing. And so they got a flood of ideas. 
Also, I was thinking a little bit of Harvey Firestein and Hairspray and Divine. It just was like I knew instantly what it could be. That was the mission statement for the show in general, the series EP added, to do something that harkened back to the original, but flip it. We've seen live action and animated versions of Batman on TV. Taking his statement at face value, one could only wonder if this is truly Tim's personal sentiment towards the Dark Knight's rogues gallery, whether or not he's ever truly paid attention to the very property he's worked on. I forgot about Bane. How can I forget about Bane? Bane's the one that broke the Batman. Bane was integral in the comics. I remember Night Quest, Nightfall. Oh, I forgot about Talia al Ghul. I forgot about Raj al Ghul. Man, I forgot about a lot of uh, villains. Lady Shiva. So, I'll let you guys comment down below. What do you think about Bruce Timm's assertion about the Penguin being gender flipped? Or gender swapped? I mean... I know what they were trying to do with this, the series. They were... They, it, it, if you haven't seen it yet, it's in a noir style. It takes place sometime in the 40s. Um, and, but it just doesn't have that same, that same oomph, that same, that same feel as Batman the Animated Series from the 90s, from what I remember. Uh, so you guys tell me what you think. Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Those things help out with the YouTube algorithm. Help get my videos promoted. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys later.